Don't look now, but there is a feeding frenzy underway in the Mile High City. Bill Geist reports on a deep-rooted civic problem and a solution that has proved to be all-consuming. Everything's up to date these days in Denver. Hailed as a progressive, global, high-tech city of the future. But Denver is also a place where a shepherd can still find a job. He's going down to water, girls. One of Denver's most innovative new programs dates back to biblical times. To save the city from a plague of thousands of acres of noxious weeds, Denver turned to... Goats. Goats. <laughs> the more I thought about it, the more excited I got. I got to the point I couldn't sleep at night. I was so nervous about it. I thought, this is city naturalist goats. Gail about Weinstein goats, told Mayor to Wellington Webb about her idea to put goats on the city payroll. What did you think of this idea when you first heard about it? Preposterous and silly. <laughs> and then you got And issue. I proved that I was wrong. And so, Kashmir goats, more at home in outer Mongolia, can be seen browsing the landscape of Denver, devouring noxious weeds. Now, do you look at these goats as city employees? Not to denigrate city employees. Oh, no, I don't look at them as city employees. I look at them as providing a city service. <laughs> and they don't ask for as much. <laughs> These eager new civil servants rise early at their Denver campsite, the abandoned Stapleton Airport. Under the watchful eyes of Shepherd Lonnie Lamming and Jack the Wonder Dog, the herd swarms down to the river before work for a slurp of water and a nutritious all-natural breakfast. Field greens presented on a bed of dirt. Where every other mammal on earth sees prickly, deadly weeds, goats see an all-you-can-eat buffet. I believe it's uh, mentioned in the Bible that goat has an iron gut. Lonnie Lamming owns the flock. Let's go, goats. And is making big business out of these furry little four-legged weed eaters, including her $50,000 contract with Denver. Where did this big idea come from, anyway, Lonnie? I got it when I was in grad school. And what were you studying in college? Weed science. <laughs> really? That was your major? Yes. You're the first weed scientist I've ever met. I have a master's degree in weed science. I'm not just a regular one, I'm a master. And the idea to me was, if you would offer grazing as a service that would you could use as an alternative to herbicides, that people would really like it. But you would have to offer everything, you would have to have all the animals, all the fence, do the water, transport them, take care of them, and move them, and then it would work. It's working all right. And I have 1,600 head out right now on, in four major areas, three in Colorado and one in Wyoming. While she works the Denver project, her husband Fred and their four boys are mowing lawns in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Lawns get pretty big out here. It is a family business. Everybody's involved. It takes everybody to deal with this. Reggie and I took $2,500 out of our college savings and put it into this business. Even with help from her boys, Lonnie needed a bank loan. Hey, tell me about walking into a bank and asking for money for goats. <laughs> it was pretty funny, and they looked at, they had to ask twice. <laughs> for what? <laughs> you want how much? <laughs> How much were you asking him for? I wanted $10,000. And they gave me the loan and I took off. Her business took off too. Turns out weeds are a very big deal out west. An estimated 5,000 acres a day are lost to noxious weeds. They'll come in and they'll take over the ecosystem, which will push out all the native plants, which in turn will push out all the native wildlife, mammals, reptiles, birds. In the meantime, it's gonna cost you about $50,000 an acre to get it cleaned up and fixed and replanted to something productive. And you'll do it for how much an acre? 100 bucks an acre. <laughs> <laughs> they, they seem wanna... happy to hop in the truck. Yeah, well, every day they want to get up and eat. <laughs> they... I guess it's an interesting job. There aren't too many jobs for humans like that where you just eat all day. No. <laughs> In Denver, they pack into the trailer like so many subway riders for their daily commute to work in the city. Let's go, get out of there. 
They rush to the weeds like seniors to an early bird special. Their happy mission this day is to strip two acres on the banks of the Platte River. Who's animals? Passers-by are always surprised to see goats in the middle of the city. People stop and they, they want to know what we're doing. They love the goats. They love to watch them. Mm -hmm. They love to see them in the landscape. Mm -hmm. And they'll stop and they may stand here for two hours and visit. These guys will actually eat the bad stuff and leave some of the good stuff? Yeah, see her eating that bindweed right there? What are you having for lunch there, darling? What's she eating? <laughs> That's her spaghetti. They eat that bindweed, they pick it off and suck it up. This is the total lawn care machine for the new millennium, the Cashmere Turbo Goat 2000. that seeks out and destroys noxious weeds, tills the soil, tamps down new seeds, and fertilizes them. Even the city's mowers admire them. Do you feel any threat to your job security? No, not at all. Uh, they can get places I can't, like this bank over here. And uh, these tractors won't go there without winding up in the water. <laughs> so you think they have a function? Yeah, I think, I think it's a good idea. Do you? Uh, I think there's a lot of places they'll be very useful. And there's an added benefit. They're cashmere goats. Are those the kind you make sweaters out of? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's a byproduct. Is that a possibility someday that you could sell their, uh, you could shear them and sell their wool? It's not wool, is it? What fiber. Is it? Fiber. They call it. You betcha, and I plan to. Is the fiber valuable? Oh, like 15 to $20 an ounce. Let's go home, goats. Plus, they love their work so much, they don't even want to go home at night. Ah! Goats, perfect lawn care machines. Surely an old idea whose time has come.